Hey guys, so I wanted to vlog again today and tomorrow, um, even though I just vlogged yesterday, but I don't know, I'm feeling super chatty. We're about to leave tomorrow for St. Louis to see family um, and spend like six days there. Yeah, six days, so I thought I would vlog a little bit. Oh my gosh, crew just hit his head super hard. He's okay. I'm not gonna go bother him right now because he's he's playing, but I'll have to show you guys next time he is over here. I'm gonna show you, but he was like running around in the kitchen. I swear, he gets hurt so much more than Cal ever did because they're always like running around and playing and Cal like didn't have anyone when he was that size. So Crew was always getting hurt, but he was running around the kitchen, which is a mess. Um, and he was coming, I guess he was like coming around this corner. Anyways, this like sharp corner right here, he like, ran straight his forehead straight into this corner and so he's got this giant like red it's red now it was purple and blue line down the center of his forehead with a huge goose egg on it so come here baby he's also ready for bed because it is like almost six o'clock yeah yeah see oh no it looks so bad. Honestly though, I picked him up right away. He was crying and I picked him up and then he just started wanting to get back down and play. So like I knew he was gonna be fine cause he was like happy and stuff. Hey, what are you doing? Really? But I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff. I just went to Hobby Lobby and I'm going down to up to St. Louis for a bridal shower and I am helping with some of the decor. So I got these chargers from Hobby Lobby. They're like a faux wood. I only got three because there's three tables, but in hindsight, I should have got four because what am I ever gonna do with only three chargers? But I got this charger and then these little wreaths are so pretty and simple and elegant and they match her theme. So I'm gonna put that in the middle and then these candles, these actually came from Target. But how nice does that look? And then I got some eucalyptus like garland to spread around the tables. Okay, so I also got this like beaded garland which I'm gonna use on our one of our Christmas trees. And I thought I'd throw it in here too because it kind of like goes with this vibe. And I got this little cake stand, this whitewash stand. Um, for my birthday photo shoot, I'm gonna be extra and I'm doing like a birthday cake, smash cake shoot for my 30th. So I got that for me, but I'm gonna bring it too for the shower. And then I'm gonna try to do a really cool balloon arch with like some eucalyptus like picked into it. I don't know. I think I have high hopes for this. I think it'll turn out really cute. Cannot forget my balloon maker. This is how I blow up all of our balloons really fast for balloon arches. Um, so I've got everything in there packed. I cannot dip this. This is Cal's stuff, but I'm really liking this Ziploc bag situation because everything is like stored in separate baggies. It's like a madhouse in here right now. Oh my gosh. I also got a bunch of Christmas tree decor because I think we're going to put those up soon. Um, I'm not going to show you everything because I'll do like a separate haul video, but Sneak peek, red buffalo plaid is gonna be a big thing on our tree this year. I'm very excited. And everything was 50% off today. So I wanted to film like a whole like shop with me and all of that, but I kind of forgot until like halfway through. So I started filming a little bit and you guys, I had crew with me and it was just way too hard to film and shop and take care of a baby. So I'm not sure if it's what what kind of videos we're gonna have, but we're gonna have some for Christmas decor. Oh I'm about to leave because David's on his way home and I'm getting my nails done. Look at these pictures, I am like dying. These are so stinking <laughs> cute. Oh my gosh, these are adorable. Cal, you took great pictures. Yeah. Oh, you already knew that? Are you a drummer? This house, you guys, it never, never stops here. Okay, I'm leaving all of that chaos. Um, anyways, I'm just in 
the neighborhood right now and trying to rush to go get my nails done um because i want to just like have them done before i get to town i typically will like always use my parents to babysit when i'm in town visiting for things like that but i feel bad so i'm doing it tonight instead and i hope it doesn't take long because i really just want to like get in and get back home i've got dinner in the crock pot but tonight i need to i was planning on leaving thursday but it's supposed to rain and i'm just not i don't want to have to deal with like anxiety and stuff if it you know whether or not it's gonna rain and if it does rain so i'm gonna leave tomorrow um i'm teaching a class at the gym at 10 a.m so we're just gonna go straight from there afterwards and which means i need to pack everything tonight like finish packing still then pack up my car like load it all up and then i also have a video i want to edit to go up tomorrow so I just I feel like I have so much going on. It's just been a crazy wild day. Like I have, I, we were barely home and the minutes that we were home, we had craziness. And then now I just left. I just am excited to go and relax for an hour and then get back to it. Okay, I just got out of there and I don't know, they didn't cure them, which I feel like is weird when you get dipped, but um, so I'm like trying to be careful, but super quick. They're just like a light pinky nude color. I don't know, I just really like to be basic with my nails. I just think they look nice when they're just like a solid neutral color. I do like dark nails from time to time, but with all the different things going on, I didn't know what I was gonna be wearing, so I just wanted like something neutral. But yeah, they got me in in less than an hour. Um, apparently they closed at seven and I got there at 6.40, so I felt really bad, but it's 7.30 now. So it took them like 50 minutes, which I feel like is really good and they look amazing. So I'm super happy. Now I'm gonna rush home and go have our dinner and then pack my whole car, I guess, tonight. White chicken chili, straight from the crock pot. Perfect. I don't know how I did it, but I'm in the car exactly on time leaving to go to the gym i'm teaching a class this morning and i taught yesterday and yesterday my hair is crazy yesterday was like a huge class like my tuesday thursday class that i always go to so it's like it's always full and it's like in a classroom setting where you like are up front and like with music and teaching like actual whereas this one today is like a, not a lot of people show up and it's like half in the spin room and then the other half we just go to the weight room and like cycle through different machines so it's like pretty easy um so yeah yesterday's class was like a legit class teach that i had to teach <laughs> um so but yeah yesterday's class i was so nervous i did like a body pump style i think i'd like to do something i don't know how to do it but like something on my like a vlog because people always ask me to like do workout videos or something maybe I could do it on Instagram and use the music because I did it like to songs and I think it was really good so I kind of want to do that but I don't think I could do it on YouTube unless I use like um, copyright free music so anywho um, I don't know how I got everything done <clears throat> the car is fully packed woke up at like 720 so I only had like two hours. The car is fully packed. Um, I stayed up late, edited my video last night, and here we are. So we're gonna go head to the gym, teach this class, and then we're gonna hit the road. Yeah, if you need to go potty, just let me know, and we'll have to, we'll have to stop. Okay? I think he'll be. We just went potty. I think he'll be fine because we um. He can hold it for a long time. So we've got about, I don't know, three hours probably in the car. So just got done at the gym and I just changed. I didn't want to like drive in my gym clothes. Um, how cute is this sweater? It's from Target. It's my first time wearing it. It's like oversized waffle sweater. Anyways, I don't think we're, it's only 10. Oh. No, it's like 11. It's 11. I don't know about lunch because David was like, Absolutely not. You cannot eat, let them eat in the car. We don't let them eat in the car at all anymore. Like, period. Okay, no exceptions. Maybe the one ball. So, either we stop and get out and eat, or maybe they'll just fall asleep and then we'll have like a really late lunch. So, I don't know. I'm going to play it by ear, but 
Um, no one showed up for my gym class, which is I kind of figured because it's a really small class and a few of the people are out of town. So I got to just like leave early. I went ahead and did I got to drive. the spin portion and then I just left. So we're gonna hit the road. Ow, crew. Okay. Here, let's put the lid back on it. One more bite. One more bite. Okay, you want to get crawl up into your seat? Okay. Crawl up into your seat. Uh, no, get in, babes. Okay. I'm just sorry. So, we are in St. Louis now. We stopped at Chick fil A. Um, it's a great place because. Can we get some drinks in here? A drink? Yes. We don't have any drinks in here. Except for well, my. I want to drink in here. Oh wait, actually I do have a drink for you. Here. What is that drink? Hey, go ahead. Um, what was I saying? Oh, it's a good place after a road trip because he could he was able to run around and play in there after sitting in the car all day. But oh, there's my drink. Um, we are heading to my parents' house now. I'm so excited. We made really good time too. It's we got here at like two. Wow, we were in there for a long time. It's three thirty. I used to stay up all night. Trying to find my place Chasing me on lights and looking for some kind of trace To lead me out of darkness Give me a little faith Something to make me stronger Someone who could like the way Then you came to me and You gave me reason mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I almost can't believe it Every time we touch I feel So we just got to lunch the next day and look how cute this little booth is that they gave us. It's like our own private room, which is perfect alcove, the alcove. It's perfect if you have kids. Yeah, right? So we're gonna have a little lunch. Kate Spade over here. That's Kate Spade? Yeah, this one. Look, look at those little ruffles. Those are adorable. <gasps> I want those. Remember, we saw those last year. Just $150. Those are so cute. They're 40. That's not bad. I love the gingerbreads, but I, I would too. Yeah. I don't have anywhere to go in that kind of a heel. Oh, you're right. Mm. There's four shots of espresso in this. I guess it has two, and then I added an extra one, and then he said you can get an, your next one for free, and I was like, load it up. Anyways, it's like, it's 3 p.m. I have a pounding headache because I have not had any caffeine today, which is terrible, but it's the truth. I get headaches if I don't have any caffeine, and it's just been a long day. So we took the boys out to shop. We needed to shop. I need to buy a few gifts while I'm in town. So we went to Von Mar, my favorite store, and it was just like a not, they were both needed their naps. So my mom offered to take them back home and put them down for naps while I came back out. So I'm like, thank goodness, it's so nice. 
so thankful for her. So I just got a coffee. I'm gonna go back to Von Mar. I already had some stuff on hold. Um, so I'll show you guys what I end up getting, but I just love that store because they have like all my favorite brands um, and they always have stuff on sale. So I'm getting a few things there and I kind of wanna go like into Nike and I don't know, this, this is a really nice outdoor mall and I am like really inspired to go Christmas shopping right now. I don't know why, I just feel like I'm ready. Like I, it's freezing here today, it's 45 degrees out and I'm just like ready to start Christmas shopping and I think like the earlier I start and like, you know, spread it out, the less of a financial hit it's gonna be because it's always like so bad, I go way overboard. So I don't know, maybe I'll start now. Eee, okay, I just love buying gifts. <laughs> It's like my favorite thing ever. Look how cute, how pretty that is for a baby gift. I love it. So I'm meeting my, one of my best friends had a baby last month and I'm gonna go over to her house cause she lives here and um, meet her baby for the first time tomorrow. So I just picked up a copper pearl. Um, What is it? Like a, like a nursing cover or car seat cover thing. It's just so soft. I've never had anything by that brand. Um, a little bit pricey. It's like a luxury baby item, but it's like a dinosaur print. It's so cute. So I got her that because like that's something you can use for like the whole first year because um, her baby is, I guess, two months old. And then I also got a pair of pajamas. Like I don't know what brand they were. So one of those like really, really soft kind that are like normally like $40 and they were on sale. So I got her two things for her baby. And then these are Kiki pants. I love Kiki pants, but I don't hardly ever buy them. I think I've had like two pairs in the past, but they're just so expensive. Anyways, I found these on the clearance rack for $11, originally 44. So such a good deal. And they're just like dinosaurs. So these will be for crew. I was like so excited for that deal. And then I got Cal a pair of Halloween pajamas his teacher actually just texted me next week um he has preschool on Halloween so she said it's pajama day at school because he's missing school today um so I just grabbed these little bat pajamas I got him in the size 4t so that maybe he can wear them next year too but they're honestly not that Halloweeny I think he'll be in these like the rest of fall and winter but they're kind of cute and they were on clearance for 10 bucks but I think I'm actually gonna head over to TJ Maxx, even though I really wanted to get a bridal shower gift in there and have them like wrap it really nicely. But the thing is, is all their stuff is so cute. In fact, I was like snapping photos and stuff, getting ideas for Christmas. But the brands they sell in there are like Kate Spade and Mud Pie and like a lot of brands that you can find in TJ Maxx. So I'm gonna go over to TJ Maxx and see if I can find like a really nice wedding shower gift for half the price. All right, that was so much fun. I got so many fun things at TJ Maxx. I'm gonna show you guys what all I got. Um, I feel like I haven't been shopping by myself without children in a hot minute, and it was like major retail therapy. It was so much fun. So I got some PJs for myself. They're leopard, of course. These are DKNY. They're only $25, and they're like the softest pajamas ever. And then these were also, oh my gosh, they're so soft. And I like this plaid. These are like, clouds oh my gosh these were only $16.99 so I just love pajamas and when I see a good deal you know I'm gonna get them and then I also grabbed a couple sets of bras I actually accidentally only brought one bra and it's not the most comfortable one so I grabbed these like comfy kind um, for $9.99 and then these were only five bucks no six bucks for two and they're kind of cute and they're just like padded and comfy because I don't really like bras that have wires and of course, that's the kind I packed. I got one Christmas gift. I'm not gonna show it because people watch my videos. I got a lemon squeezer because so many people have been commenting saying that I need to buy one, $6.99. Also, I had a $10 off coupon. It was great. I had so much fun. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got for my bridal shower gift. This is gonna be the gift bag, although I'll probably have to use another gift bag. Um, so she hosts Christmas Eve every year, her and my brother. And so, and she loves Christmas. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'll get her stuff for Christmas. So I'm so excited that I found stuff. So this is just like a little set of hand towels. It's like a last minute thing that I threw on because it's got the their last name initial on here for $6.99. I'm so happy I went to TJ Maxx instead because everything's so much cheaper. This says jingle till you tingle. <laughs> I think that's so funny. $3.99. 
she's gonna watch this and see all the prices, but whatever. Um, I got a couple sippy cups for the boys because they didn't have hardly any here at my parents' house. And then the main part of her gift is Ray Dunn stuff. I don't know if she's like, she's not like a collector or anything, but Mary and then the other, the other plate is white and it says Jingle or something. Yeah, Jingle. So I got six of them. I wanted eight and I went and asked and they were like, oh no, like they put everything. She was like, I haven't even seen these yet. So they must've just put them out. I kind of forgot the whole like Ray Dunn craze where people like go crazy. So she was like, especially holiday stuff. So now I feel like I kind of like snatched these up because I took all of them. They only had six out. I took them all. So that's going to make a nice little like gift for her for hosting Christmas. I think that's really nice because I don't know, it's just different. She loves Christmas. And then I also got her a cake stand that says cheat day on top and it's also Ray Dunn. So that is what I got for her. And I got this stuff for myself and <laughs> that was really therapeutic. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna end the vlog here because I feel like I've just been like jabbering this whole entire time. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll probably vlog again on Monday because we are seeing the dentist, which is also my dad. So Cal's gonna go. I'm gonna get my teeth uh, bleached, I think. So that'll be fun. So stay tuned for that. We'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Gonna be alright.